Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm gonna be testing the GeForce GTX 1650 in Crisis Remastered. Of course, I'm running the latest drivers from NVIDIA, as you can see right here. This one is the Gigabyte Mini ITX OC model. I am running it as usual with the Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM. The Ryzen 7 is, of course, overkill for the 1650, but you should be able to achieve the same FPS with something like a Ryzen 5 1400 or maybe a Ryzen 3 12 100 if you overclock that let's get into the game all right there we go we're playing at 1920 by 1080 resolution using the low settings right now we're also going to be testing it at medium high and can it run crisis presets at 1080p i'm not going to test other resolutions here with the 1650 let's get into it my friends here we go resume game and it is quite a decently smooth experience isn't it my friends okay so low settings runs okay um, aside from the stuttering issues that we've been seeing in every single video of Crisis Remastered. Yeah, it's not really that well optimized. I'm gonna start counting our FPS right now. Let's see how it performs at the low settings. So far so good, guys. Aside from the 1% lows being at 20 FPS, it's an okay experience. If you want to play this game at the low settings, it will still look okay. Actually, some of the things do look pretty decent, like the textures right there. They don't look too bad, but the textures here on the palm trees are absolutely atrocious so I definitely recommend you guys to increase those textures a little bit it will make a big difference on how this game looks maybe set everything else to the low settings and play like that if you want to actually play through the game if not if you're just here for the benchmarks I guess you can do it with whatever settings you want obviously <laughs> but yeah for people that want to play this game like actually run through the campaign and play it properly yeah I guess low settings at 1080p if you are after a 60 plus FPS experience it will run well but it will stutter quite a bit as you can see especially if you get into new areas in the map and stuff like that uh, we're gonna be running around here for a little bit uh, in this video and midway through the video it will probably smooth out and the frame time performance will be okay it's just because we're uh, rendering all of this for the first time and it's low everything into the memory and stuff like that the game is also installed on an SSD so that's not the problem whatsoever yeah the unfortunate reality is that Crisis Remastered is not well optimized, just like pretty much every other game in 2020, I believe. <laughs> so I think the frame time graph has stabilized already, as you can see. It's not stuttering whatsoever right now. It's pretty smooth. It's completely flat right there, so that's what you want, obviously. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it like that for the low settings. Let's stop it. So average FPS, 83, 1% lows, 22. If it wasn't for the stutters, we'd probably be getting 1% lows above 60 FPS. Alright, so we just restarted the checkpoint over here. Everything is applied now on the medium settings. I'm gonna show it once again. 1080p resolution, SMAA 1TX anti-aliasing with the medium settings preset. And let's just run around here for a little bit again. Start counting our FPS. Here we go. And it's getting into the 50s. So that this is really nice, guys. I, I think... The 1660 Ti video that I made, for some reason, I was actually getting like 100 FPS on that video. And then the FPS dropped into the 70s. I believe we got like 70 FPS on average with that GPU. Basically, I played the entire first part of the game with the 1660 Ti at like 100 FPS. What the heck is going on with this guy? Look at him. Holy crap, that's some exorcism things going on right there. But anyways, as I was saying, I played the entire first part of this game with the 1660 Ti with around like 100 FPS and then when I got to this area right here, it got down to like 70 on average, which I found pretty weird, but I think many people are having problems or FPS problems here in Crisis. Like, you could be getting 60 FPS and all of a sudden you're getting 30 or like 40 or something like that, and then um, I don't even know how to fix it because I restarted the PC multiple times with the 1660 Ti, I restarted the checkpoints, I even played the entire thing through again, the game, you know, uh, and it was getting like 70 to 80 FPS or 70 to 100 FPS, not 100 plus anymore, so I found that very, very weird, but it's just my experience here in Crisis with that GPU uh, was like that. 
Good news is, right now, with the 1650, this is actually performing really well, guys. Like, I am impressed with the performance that we're getting right now on medium settings. 1080p medium looks really good, and I would probably play this game like this at these settings. The game looks really, really good here, except for some of the textures. As you can see, these look pretty bad. But the ground textures, the weapon models and stuff like that, even the rocks look pretty decent. It's just the tree here that look kind of bad you know on medium settings at least so if you really want to play this game all the way through uh, I would recommend the medium settings with the 1650 here okay here we go my friends I restarted the checkpoint of course I'm just disabling motion blur because I don't like that we're at 1080p high and uh, yeah it, it becomes really rough for the GTX 1650 at these settings uh, it's it's not really what I would call playable or an enjoyable experience anymore it's still kind of playable you know especially for crisis but yeah if you want to play this game like for real and not for the benchmarks and to see the graphics and stuff like that high settings isn't really it, it's kind of clunky guys so it isn't the best thing the textures of the leaves here do look considerably better than medium settings i'll give you that okay again maybe just play on low or medium settings with higher textures because it will make those leaves look a lot better as well uh, i i don't really feel the need to play on high settings although the game looks really really great uh, it's just not really that playable guys with below 30 fps Yes, at least it's not stuttering anymore, so that's, that's something there. Okay, let's just try to do this. Alright, one down, two down. Nope, nope, not two down. God damn it, these guys take a while to die, don't they? Oh god, okay, did I even shoot the thing there? I don't even know. Oh boy, oh boy, oh my god, there's a lot of them, and I'm 9 HP right now. You can already tell, guys, that... Uh, these FPS are not very good, although we're getting 30 plus, it's still kind of clunky for a first person shooter. I would call this playable though, if I got used to it, I would be absolutely fine playing like this. The 1650 is definitely struggling right now, not so much in this area, but whenever you get into forests, it's 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 really bad okay as you can see right now the 20s low 20s even so not recommended for you to play on high settings can it run crisis preset i'm just gonna go ahead and disable motion blur right here yes please and okay uh let's just restart the checkpoint again right here we are yep okay so well it's it could be worse to be honest like we, we saw the 750 ti today playing at these settings and getting like 5 fps so this is certainly a lot better than that definitely uh, where the heck, where did he go there, what, where did, where is he, where is the guy, he was just there right now, oh boy, I'm confused, I am confused, is he dead, no, he's right there, what the heck, what are you doing, are you on my side, are you actually shooting the, the jeep or something, I, I don't get what's going on right now, let's try to do this, oh boy, okay, okay, alright, we did it, we did it, 15 FPS is definitely playable here, so, uh, yeah, if you want to play this game maxed out on a 1650, you definitely sort of can play it, it's not really ideal, obviously, like, I can shoot a damn thing, but, uh, oh my god, it could definitely be worse, you know, ah, God damn it, just see the, the 750 Ti video and, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, we managed to do this great stuff. I found something very bad here on the Can It Run Crisis preset. What the hell is this? Oh my gosh, that's supposed to be like a bush or something, but it's completely bugged out right now. Anyways, guys, I just wonder what madness awaits me with the GeForce GT710. I'm gonna test that Saturday, by the way, so keep tuned in for that. It's gonna be a big video, and I, it's gonna be kind of a little bit different. Keep tuned in for that, it's gonna be fun, I think, and... Uh, Oh my god, this is this is okay, you know, this is not too bad. It's 20-something FPS right now, so definitely playable for a game like this. Alright guys, that's been it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will hopefully see you in the next one. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.